It begins with bacteria. Bacteria is really incredible because bacteria creates these glues that holds the soil particles together. And these form the microaggregates that later on fungi ties together and creates the macroaggregates, the structure of the soil. So first it's these bacterial glues. Bacteria are single celled organisms. Bacteria is on everything. It's everywhere. It's all over the surfaces, all over our bodies. It is feeding on simple compounds, feeding on mostly simple sugars on the plant surfaces. They're feeding off of exudates and they're taking all of those, those exudates into their bodies and they're exchanging with all sorts of life. They're consuming, consuming. They're, they're taking it all in and then embodying it. Now they don't give it up. They're like this, you know, the black box. <laughs> they, they, they've got it all locked in. The bacteria is holding all those nutrients. Now protozoa comes and consumes them and because protozoa do not need all that NPK, micro, micro and trace elements and nutrients that are inside, they release it in their waste. So protozoas are the first and there's amoebas, flagellates, and ciliates, ciliates are the bad ones. They're gonna be consuming this and they're going to be releasing all these awesome nutrients, macro, micro, and trace elements, and then that can return to the plant. You need all the trophic layers because there've been tests done, Elaine's done them, where you just isolate these things and they, they either don't work or only half work if you just take out pieces. You need them all for it to be this symphony orchestration of, of, of amazingness. And so, you, you want all of the members in there. You want the, you know, the predator nematodes. You don't want the fungal, you know, the root feeding nematodes. You, you want fungus that can attack those nematodes and eat them. You want, you know, uh, you want the microarthropods to be shredding the fungi. You want the nematodes, the uh, microarthropods and the protozoas all to be breaking down the organic matter too. You want it all to be continuously in a process of turning into humus, turning into soluble nutrients. Bacteria will not break down your clays, sands, and silts. That's going to be fungi's job. They're, they're simple compounds, and yes, there's chitin, and yes, there's cellulose that can break down. There's special ones that can do that. We'll get into that later. But, but primarily bacteria, is they're the forerunners. They're gonna go in and they're gonna create those glues to make the microaggregates for the macroaggregates to be put together by fungi. They're gonna set the stage. Th their populations actually don't decline as we travel in succession. They, they basically stay stable. They set up shop and they're there. When they're overpopulated, that's when you have problems. Bacterial dominated soils are the ones that are the nitrate dominated soils, which are the weedy soils. So. If it's all just bacteria, if it's tilled and you destroy all the fungi, then you've got just bacteria left. 